Hello everyone, welcome to Good Morning Tarot. Now this is a general reading and it is open to all zodiac signs. So just take what resonates with you. It is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, there might be a message here for you. Now let's try to see what is the main energy at the start of the day. Magician. Okay, you are the magician. Whatever it is, whatever endeavor you are doing right now, you have the capacity to do it. If you are going on a trip, you all, everything that you need for the trip will be provided for you. You are the magician. You, uh, you can create magic. So whatever your project is, whatever your inspiration is, whatever work of art you are inspired to do, you are the magician. You can create magic and at this time you are very much aware also of the presence of the divine in your life which can be symbolized by this eternity sign there is a certain balance and a certain maturity with regards to your emotion to your intellect uh, the sword uh, to your career sense and maybe health health sense also and on being on fire so these are very good things and you are very creative everything is flourishing around you now let's try to see how this will further unfold now it's good to be like the king of swords somebody who knows enough to have boundaries okay so uh, as you embark on this new project it's good to, to be generous and just but at the same time also have good boundaries have some time for yourself like for example behind the king is a veil and in the veil, there is the moon and the butterflies. Now, the butterfly symbolizes transformation. So it means that even as you try to work, as you try to be effective in the world, you also give time for yourself to undergo transformation and maturity. At the same time, the moon can symbolize your intuition. So you continue on working on developing your intuition. And then the throne of the king is with nature. So balance your work with being one with nature. Now, let's try to see what is advice of the universe for us. Again, you see here, the queen of pentacles is surrounded by nature. And there is a bunny ro running around. So this can symbolize creativity and productivity. So yes, uh, at this time, you are highly productive. All of them are in nature so nature seems to have a very important part in your being effective right now the queen of pentacles doesn't lose sight of her goal she is constantly reflecting on the pentacle on her hand so in order for you to continue to be a magician you need to always get in touch with your goal do not lose sight of your objective uh, Sometimes you get to be distracted, but the important thing is every once in a while you go back again and try to see what is the goal of all your efforts. When you do that, then you will continue to be productive and you will really succeed. It will lead you to stability, whether in health or in wealth or in also your relationships. But right now, it seems that uh, right now the, the more, more, foc more focus is on uh, intellectual work and career so maybe both are in, interrelated also and at the same time creativity you are highly creative right now highly productive for women yes you are fertile so you i guess it's because you are in touch with your inner self and it makes you glow makes you more attractive so just be aware of that now let's go to good morning oracle
Okay, for our Good Morning Oracle, our card for today is Celestial Teacher. Okay. Well, you're highly intuitive. Maybe you will be receiving some new lessons from the universe, from your inner self. And yes, you are very much in touch with the divine. So uh, it can be that for some of you, yes, you will be undergoing transformation as you go undergo success. What comes to me right now is that some of you might even be called to be a teacher. I think not just an ordinary teacher, but a spirit guide, uh, sorry, a spiritual guide, something like that. Uh, your wisdom can help others find their way closer to the divine, to find their way being enlightened on their path, whatever challenges they are encountering right now. Your wisdom as the magician will allow other people to become magicians also. So having good boundaries is very important. And uh, I think that the king of swords can symbolize somebody who is also very knowledgeable. While the magician is one who is very, very efficient, uh, very resourceful. Even the queen of pentacles can be a celestial teacher by constantly reminding people to never lose sight of their goal. So for some of you, you might be called, or you might already have been called, or maybe you will be called in the near future, to be a spiritual guide for others. So this is a little bit more specific. Try to see how this resonates with you. But at this time, you are very much in touch with the divine, highly creative, there's a certain maturity in you where everything in your faculties is balanced. You are highly intuitive and you're further undergoing transformation. You have good boundaries, so you are able to protect this uh, space for you to grow. And you're highly productive at this time. So, yes, you have all the qualities of being a good celestial teacher. So for some of you, you might be called to be a spirit guide, spiritual guide, okay, a spiritual guide, or a celestial teacher, or a coach, or a mentor, or somebody will come your way, because things are going well for you, they say, the master comes when the student is ready, so it seems that you have attained a certain balance in your life, you have good boundaries, you're highly intuitive, you spend regular time being in touch with your inner self, you, have, you, you know your goals and your priorities, you have a very ideal uh, moment for a teacher to come your way. So try to see how these readings would resonate in your present life situation. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope I hope to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.